Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badukhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. On Thursday, Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma inaugurated the Jackfruit Processing Unit in Gulpani Nokat Rongara, South Garo Hills. Addressing the gathering, Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma stated that the Jackfruit Processing Unit, which costs approximately 2 crores, is powered by a decentralized 100 kW solar power unit, opening the way for green and sustainable energy. The Northeastern Council, or NEC, has allocated about Rs 11 crores for development and beautification of Shillong's largest traditional market, Yodo or Barabazar. Speaking to reporters, NEC Secretary K. Moses Chalai said that the sanction amount has been approved, but the funds are yet to be released. He further said that the facelift will commence within two to three months. In response to numerous complaints and grievances regarding the unauthorised establishment and operation of toll and check gates within the district, the District Magistrate of West Garo Hills, Tura, issued an order under Section 144 CRPC effectively prohibiting the illegal setup and operation of toll and check gates without proper authorization throughout the West Garo Hills district. The order directs subdivisional magistrates, police officers, forest authorities and other law enforcement agency to swiftly identify and destroy any such unauthorised gates within the district's authority. The Ministry of Home Affairs, MHA, has decided to end the free movement regime or FMR between India and Myanmar in order to guarantee the country's internal security and to preserve the demographic structure of India's northeastern states that border Myanmar. Following a recent meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah in the national capital, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh hosted a meeting at his secretariat on Thursday to discuss new tactics and strategies for combating illegal poppy cultivation in Manipur. The government's all-out war against illegal poppy cultivation is one of the root causes of the ongoing violence in this sensitive border state. The meeting was joined by the Chief Secretary, Manipur Police Department, Narcotics Control Bureau, NCB, Narcotic Affairs and Borders, NAB, Forest Department, Manipur Remote Sensing Application Centre, MARSAC and Forensic Science. Ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, the Aam Admi Party or AAP has revealed its candidates for three parliamentary seats. Manoj Dhanohar will contest from Dibrugarh, Bhavin Chaudhary from Gauhati and Rishi Raj from Sonitpur. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi, AAP Rajya Sabha MP Sandeep Patak announced the names of the candidates and hoped that the India bloc would allow them to contest from these constituencies in Assam. The Gohati High Court Bar Association, GHCBA, has raised significant concerns about the Assam government's plan to remove the Gohati High Court to Rang Mahal in North Gohati. On Thursday, the GHCBA sought clarification from Assam Law Minister Ranjib Kumar Das over statements he made concerning the relocation in the State Assembly. Also, the association earlier submitted a memorandum inter alia to the Honourable Chief Minister and resort to a sit-in demonstration opposing such a move, which was also supported by other associations of lawyers in the city. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Mithela.